Hi everybody, welcome to another video on dynamometers. In this video I will explain the different types of dynamometers and show you what to look for when choosing such a device. My name is Manuel and I am one of the product managers in the business unit test and measurement at Kessler. Let's get started. A dynamometer is a high-end measuring device to measure the force and the moment that is applied on a unit under test. For obvious reasons there are different dynamometers available. Here comes important background information about them. Well, obviously, different dynamometers differ in size. You see a few of them laid out here. A larger test object requires a larger dynamometer. I guess that makes sense, right? Besides the size of a dynamometer, there are also differences in the material used. While most dynamometers have stainless steel or aluminum top plates, like these two dynamometers here, we also have a product family with ceramic top plates, like the big guy over here. This allows us to increase the usable frequency range significantly. Dynamometers with ceramic top plates are mainly used in micro-vibration applications. For example, for the dynamic characterization of components which go into space with the aim of minimizing vibrations. So, size and material are two important factors. A third distinguishing feature is the direction of the preloading of the four piezoelectric force sensors. I agree, that doesn't sound very exciting. However, it has a great influence on the behavior of the dynamometer if temperature changes during the test. In most dynamometers, the four force sensors are located and preloaded between the base plate at the bottom and the top plate on top, so like in a sandwich. Because the preloading direction is vertical, we speak of a vertically preloaded dynamometer. For many applications, this is absolutely the right setup. A solution patented by Kistler, however, is to have the four force sensors vertically in the structure and thus allowing to preload the sensors horizontally. Thanks to this setup, thermal expansions in the structure can be absorbed and compensated to a large extent. Horizontally preloaded dynamometers are mainly used when the temperature changes during the measurement. Now, how to choose the right dynamometer? Well, there are a few considerations that one needs to make. Consideration 1 dimension of the test object. What is the size of the unit you need to test? It is possible to place a small object on a large dynamometer. The opposite case, that means a large object on a small dynamometer should be avoided for dynamic reasons as it comes with negative impacts in the quality of the measurement. Consideration 2. Expected force level. What forces act during a test? A dynamometer must not be overloaded during the test, obviously. Therefore, it is necessary to know in advance what force levels will be applied, or at least approximately. If in doubt, choose a dynamometer with a larger force range as it minimizes risks if something goes wrong. You are still able to measure small forces even with a large dynamometer because of the extremely large measuring range piezoelectric force sensors offer. So, don't worry. Consideration 3. Thermal impacts. Does the temperature remain constant during the test or does it change? If temperature remains constant, then vertically preloaded dynamometers are an excellent choice. However, if the temperature is expected to change during the test, a horizontally preloaded dynamometer is preferable for the reasons I have explained before. Consideration 4. Specific conditions. Are there any application-specific conditions that apply? For example, is a dynamometer used in a wet environment or in a vacuum chamber? Such boundary conditions can influence the selection of a dynamometer. So these are the four considerations one needs to make before choosing a dynamometer. In addition to standard dynamometers, we are also happy to offer custom solutions. We have a team of engineers who develop customized sensors and dynamometers to cover your specific demand. If you have any questions about dynamometers, be it standard or customized, please contact us. Our sales guys and application specialists are very happy to help you. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you again soon with another video.